Well, Tommy proposed to me. Again. Tommy really does nothing but propose to me. He proposed to me last night in the music room when I was quite unprotected. As there was an elaborate trio going on. I didn't dare make the smallest repartee, I need hardly tell you. If I had, the music would have stopped at once. Musical people are so absurdly unreasonable. They always want one to be perfectly dumb at the very moment one is longing to be absolutely deaf. And then, he proposed to me in broad daylight, this morning, in front of that dreadful statue of Achilles. Really? Things that go on in front of that work of art are quite appalling. The police should interfere. At luncheon, I could tell by the glare in his eyes that he was going to propose again. And I just managed to check him in time by assuring him that I was a bimetallist. Fortunately, I don't know what a bimetallist means, and I don't believe anyone else does either. But the observation crushed Tommy for ten minutes. He was quite shocked. And then Tommy is so annoying in the way that he proposes. If he proposed at the top of his voice, I should not mind so much. It might produce an effect on the public. But he does it in a horrid, confidential way. When Tommy wants to be romantic, he talks to one like a doctor. I'm very fond of Tommy. But his methods of proposing are quite quite out of date. I wish, Gertrude, you'd talk to him and tell him. Tell him once a week is quite often enough to propose to anyone and that it should always be done in a manner that attracts some attention.